Hi YouTube. Today I want to show you how to create an image like this. It has some 3D effects which I think are really cool. Um, basically her hands are and her feet are coming off the picture like she's walking off of the the paper image. It's just a, a really neat effect and and I want to show you how to do it so let's get started. First of all we want to open up our image. Now I've kind of already altered this as you can see um, I've done some masking black and white background and I can show you how to do that in a later tutorial if anybody's interested just shoot me an email and and I'll help you out with that but there are other tutorials on YouTube that you can watch if if you want to see how to do it quicker so first of all let's go in and, and look at the image size the image size is about nine and a half inches by 14 inches high um, 72 pixels per inch if you're working for web design um, 72 pixels per inch is fine so that's what I'm working in right now um, you can pretty much use any image size that that you want not too small of course but okay let's go ahead and get started first of all we're gonna unlock that layer otherwise we're not gonna be able to to mask it out and do what we need to do to it let's create a new layer above it we want to use our rectangular marquee tool and let's go about that distance with it and one neat little trick here if we hit our X button we're gonna bring white to the top and hold down alt and delete and as long as this layer is selected you're gonna fill that in now we want to get a paper border around here like a, a nice white border and how we can do that with equality on all four sides is this little trick and we're going to select modify contract and let's go in by 15 pixels all the way around okay now we are going to control X and delete that right out of there okay now we can zoom in a little bit control with your plus key and by holding down the space bar we'll bring up your hand tool and you can move the image wherever you like so first thing we want to do is use our polygon lasso tool and you can start about right there drag up to about the middle of the border and we want to go around our hands so make sure that you're not cutting off her hands and don't cut off this first foot here either we want to go around that okay almost done double click oops if you double click too many times which would make it a triple click just hit control Z and you'll get it back now you want to control shift um, with the letter I that's going to select everything that we don't want and we can hit delete oops look at I was on the wrong layer you want to be on this layer hit delete voila okay now control D deselect it we're gonna zoom in to this first hand here and we want to add a layer mask to this layer and if you hit your B key your brush will come up hit your X and black will come to the top and we're going to mask out the areas that we don't want You want to use kind of a hard brush here. I think mine's 100% hardness right now. You could probably put it about 95% if you wanted, but it works for me at 100% with this image. Hit your left bracket if you want to make it, your brush smaller. If you make a mistake, like, whoops, let's say, I didn't want to do that. Well, I could control Z it and get it back or 
I can hit my X key. White's going to come to the top and fill it right back in. That's why you don't want to use your eraser tool when you're doing something like this because you can get this back, your image that, that you need, part of the image that you need, you can get it back so easily. So, okay. Now we're going to go down to the feet. We're going to do the same thing and we're going to do the same thing to the other hand over there. So I'm going to do that quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished up this hand here and let's zoom back out so we can see the, the whole image and let's, um, first of all, let's, my dog is barking, so I got to make sure he's okay here. Okay, I'm back. Okay, now let's move up to our border and we want to put a mask on that as well. Let's zoom in to our first hand again. Zoom in. And if you want, you can lower the opacity on this and you can see what you're doing a little bit easier. But we're going to erase, mask out the border where her hand is coming over. Now if I go back here, it looks like I cut off part of her thumb. So I'm going to try to get that back. I did cut off part of her thumb. Let's go back to this. Oops. Let's fix this real quick. Make sure I'm on that and I want to erase it so it's got to be black. Get in there a little bit better. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially for a tutorial. But um, I kind of want to make it nice. Okay, now let's go back to this layer and make it 100%. Where are we at here? Bring in a little bit more white. Oops. Very important to make sure this mask is selected. See, Very important to make sure that your white is selected. Not black here. Okay. Let's go down to the feet. Make a slightly bigger brush. Make sure black's on top and start erasing. And here we go. Go through this kind of quick. Next, paint this back in all the way up to the jeans. Okay. Let's get over to this hand. Black. White. Fill back in. Okay, I know this isn't perfect, but you're getting the idea. Um, okay, let's create another layer. Let's go to our elliptical marquee tool. And let's create kind of a little drop shadow. Alt, let's hit X, Alt, Delete, Alt and Delete. Okay. Now control T, let's twist it a little bit. Check mark, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I got mine at about 2.5, that, that'll work for this purpose here. Okay, now we can create one more layer and let's bring that to the bottom. And if we click our gradient, we can fill in a gradient for the background. And to choose the color, what one option that you can do is take your eyedropper tool. It'll automatically turn to your eyedropper. Click in anywhere. You can make it orange. You can make it blue. You can make it black. Any color that you want, really. But 
for this purpose I'll, I'll use a blue so um, now if I start right here that'll look probably pretty good go all the way to the bottom that looks pretty good um, if I don't like it I can just do it over add a little bit more blue okay now let's click the top layer click the second to bottom layer holding shift and let's group these control G and control T to give it a little twist okay check mark one last thing that I forgot to do I can add in one more layer and use your polygon lasso tool and we can do a little drop shadow here mm -hmm. that might be a little far okay okay I'll delete I want to put this right on top of the gradient layer control D unselect it uh, control T I can twist it a little bit more move it in there we go now let's give this a blur ah, that looks pretty good blur it a little bit more if we want okay and that's part of the group so now we can center this a little bit more if we like and there we go now if you want you can crop it make it look even better looks pretty good okay thanks for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it um, subscribe I'm gonna be making quite a few more tutorials and you'll get to see some of my projects okay thanks